Coming up on Great Day at 9A, safety concerns are growing across the state in light of several weapons discovered in schools recently. They made some pretty scary, uh, created some pretty scary moments in classrooms, and now school officials are urging extra caution for parents. And an NFL player turned broadcaster turned reptile shipper? This is incredible. Uh, yeah, it's quite the pivot, and we are going to learn more about this career move straight ahead when we speak to Chad Brown. And love is in the air. Can you feel it? <laughs> we sure can. We're going to get some indulgent value. Valentine's Day cocktails in the works this morning. And we're going to show you how to make them yourself on Great Day at 9A. And it's all about the love this morning as Valentine's Day is inching closer. Marcy Jones takes us to a candle bar in Manchester that's mixing up some alluring scents. Mm -hmm. That's all ahead on Great Day at 9A. Welcome to Great Day at 9A on your Friday Eve. <laughs> we are so close to Friday. It's been a, quite a week, right? It's been a long week. It really I don't know, has. It just keeps getting longer. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's Thursday. I woke up this morning. I was like, well, it's Thursday. At least it's Thursday. <laughs> exactly. I was like, I knew because the trash went out yesterday and it was dry cleaning day. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. We had to put the trash out last night. Yeah. So. No, we were on the same schedule. Yeah. yeah Isn't that very nice? Good. Isn't that nice? Very good. <laughs> we'll take out the trash together. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Nicole Nalepa. Who are you? I'm Scott Haney. Nice, nice to, to meet see you. you. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot in store for you today, but first, let's uh, take a quick run through our top stories of the morning so far. Yeah, of course. We're dealing with some traffic issues. Uh, what a big, mess. crazy mess there. So make sure to head on to the Channel 3 app for more details on that. Also, state police just released the dash cam video from that crash in Cromwell yesterday. This was a situation where a driver hit a state trooper and firefighter as those two were trying to help others driver, other drivers on the side of the road. Now, fortunately, we know that both oh, the state video. trooper Oof. and the firefighter are okay. I know it's a really difficult video to watch as the car goes in there. Oh. Now, the driver of the car right now they are facing plenty of violations this morning but you know this is just a reminder that you should slow down, slow down. and move over move if you over. see anyone there on the shoulder of the highway you it is the right. law here in our state Absolutely. people you see uh, those blinking lights move over get out of the way all right this morning safety concerns are front and center for students and parents across the state after six cases were reported of students bringing a weapon to school since december Experts are asking parents to lock up any weapons, keep them out of sight of your children, and keep guns unloaded mm -hmm. and in those safes. And make sure that you're hiding your key so your kids don't know where to get it because we had a story last week of a child that ended up finding the key. The parents locked up their guns safely, but the key, the child found the key yes, and unlocked yes, it. So. Ki kids are pretty crafty. Pretty, yes, pretty they shrewd. are. Yeah, yeah, and this is a disturbing trend. So, yeah, if you see something, say something. Absolutely. And the UConn women's basketball I team. so upset. I know, but you know what? They're so good. They yeah, they haven't so lost back-to-back -back games in 30 years, right? This Amazing. is the first time it's happened. They were defeated last night by the Marquette Golden Eagles. Now, Marquette was locked in last night, and for the first time ever, they beat the Lady Huskies 59-52 to in Milwaukee. So it was a close game. And, uh, oh, I just feel bad for them. I know, I know. But, you know, they're just so good. Like, they haven't lost two in a row since 1993. That's pretty remarkable. It really I mean, is. Talk about a winning streak. Yep. Remarkable. All right, let's talk about the weather, which is also going to get remarkable around here. It's going to be a winner, right? The winner, winner, chicken dinner. A little precip in parts of Fairfield County. You might be seeing a brief shower there. Not a big deal. Um, be surprised if this is even reaching the ground. According to Futurecast, tomorrow's weather today, you might see a flake in parts of northwest Connecticut. A little bit later on this afternoon, this is around noontime. You might see a brief shower around 5 p.m. for the evening rush. You might see a, another shower at 7. See how they're intimate and scattered and sporadic? Not too impactful, but we just want to give you an early warning that you might need the umbrella from time to time during the day today. Tomorrow turns out absolutely spectacular. Look at these clear skies with temperatures soaring into the mid to upper 50s. So for the rest of today, temperatures, you'll notice, Nicole, they actually start rising tonight. Instead of dropping, they're going to be on the rise. Wow. So that's pretty interesting. And I will have your full three-day forecast coming up a little bit later on in the uh, broadcast. But tomorrow, again, looking good. Saturday's even looking good. It's just looking a little bit cooler. All right. I mean, hey, we'll take it. This is so unheard of for February, right? I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm, I am too, secretly. Secretly. I know I know we have a lot of ski resorts I know, and I, I love skiing. You wanted to go skiing. I did. Are you going to make it skiing? I don't know. I'm going to make it this year. Okay. I know. It's already February. It's already the middle of February. Can I know. you believe it? Well, how about if we get a storm, then you and I can go skiing locally? 
All right, it's a plan. <laughs> Word to your bird. Word to your bird. Moving on to a couple other stories we're on top of for you today. Over in stores, a string of thefts on the Yukon campus have students on edge this morning, and I'm sure some parents too, right? Yeah. Police are looking for someone who they say has been breaking into dorm rooms while students are sleeping. Now, this morning, officials there are urging all students to make sure that their doors are locked, very important, and to report any suspicious activity. Can you believe just sleeping in your dorm room and then someone sneaking somebody, in, somebody stealing sneaking your in, laptop stealing or stuff? something? No, that happened to me. It happened to Paul and I once. We were in our hotel <gasps> room. They broke in while we were while Paul was sleeping. I was actually out, and um, they took his Rolex. Are you kidding me? Swiped it right off the table. Oh my word, that is so scary. Yeah, it was a very special gift too. It was for his 50th birthday. Oh. So we went through insurance and stuff, but we only got a fraction of the, the amount, you know, because you get insurance up for a certain it's amount. It's the appraised value. Yeah, the appraised yeah. value. And, you know, and it's upsetting. You know, yeah, and it the, is. And the, the thought of somebody in your room while you were in there right. is completely creepy. I know. It's almost like the PTSD after the fact, right? That you're safe after. So. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. This one's had everybody up in arms lately, <laughs> yeah. but some relief could be on the horizon. This is an, uh, not such an... Well, it is an egg-cellent story. <laughs> you may soon be able to stop saying saving up just to buy a carton of eggs, Nicole. Wholesale egg prices just started to drop from their record high around the middle of December. But it might take some time for that to translate to lower prices at the grocery store because of inflation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, economists have been saying the main reason prices went up in the first place was actually not even due to inflation, but due to a massive outbreak of avian influenza, which is actually still circulating. Yeah. I didn't even know that that was still circulating. You know, I bought a carton of eggs just to have in the house. Mm -hmm. And every time I buy a carton of eggs, they sit in the refrigerator and they go bad. Re so I'm not, I'm not, bring them to work. Uh, we'll take them. Yeah, you. George and Andy eat eggs every single morning. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't had an egg, and I can't unless it's like been in an ingredient, <laughs> like in a cake mix, <laughs> which we constantly have outside in the studio. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, I can't even tell. Today was donuts. I know, and you manifested those donuts. I did. That's so good. He I said, did. "I saw our producer Paul, who's actually producing this show, bring in a box, and I thought it was pizza, or I thought it, I thought was, it was donuts, donuts. but it was pizza." But guess leftovers, what? and then all of a sudden, donuts showed up. Yep, one of, like, uh, one of our Whitney's? photographers from Whitney Donuts in Hamden. Whitney Donuts in so Hamden. Thank you, Jeff so Colin, for bringing those in and, and sharing the and wealth. Thank you for the delicious donuts. <laughs> all right. Well, we're in the Valentine's Day spirit this morning. Absolutely, and what better way to celebrate with a little romantic ambiance than with some candles? Yeah, Marcy Jones is live at All Love Candles in Manchester to show us how it's done and how to make them. Good morning, Mars. Good morning, yes, I'm already having so much fun. I'm here with Asia as well as her daughter, Cam. And you mentioned how to set a fabulous ambiance with some warming candles, but what better way than to actually make them before you light them? So we've got all of the scents here. I've already picked out mine, but you're gonna have to wait. That's why we call this a tease. Then we're gonna put in our decorations and watch it sit. We're gonna figure out how this all happened and we're going to put a spotlight on some awesome female-led businesses so we love all of this we've got so much to cover you guys i have a question for the two of you what is your favorite go-to scent for candles are we warming spices are we bright citrus what is our favorite vanilla anything My, vanilla minus pine Ooh. like that wintergreen crisp wintergreen christmas smell oh like a Balsam fur? Yes, I love like a that. Balsam fur. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. Guys, we'll be back in just a little. All right. All right thanks, Marcy. Look at that little candle bar she's I know. How fun, fun is that? All right, 